The mad push for EVs is only matched by the mad push for self-driving cars. Back in February, I published a video on the Waymo driverless taxi that got itself into a bit of a pickle during Chinese New Year, blundering into a crowd of revelers that a human driver would have known full well to avoid. It ended up getting torched for its efforts. In that video, I said this. The problem I have with self-driving cars is that no matter how many sensors, LiDAR, cameras, computers, artificial intelligence or whatever you put into them, they still do not, at this time anyway, have anything like the innate spatial awareness of the human brain and sensory system. Whilst they may be fine to keep a vehicle safe on the freeway, which is a highly ordered and predictable environment, generally at least, putting one in a chaotic city centre is a recipe for disaster. Well, now it seems that a highly respected computing organisation has come to similar conclusions, issuing a technical briefing note which expresses considerable concerns about the mad push for self-driving cars and the limits on the technology on which they're based. In this video, we will see how the idea of fully autonomous vehicles is both ill-conceived and potentially dangerous, and how such technology should really be subjected to the same rigorous testing as other complex safety-critical systems. The moral of the story is this. If you want a self-driving car, book a taxi. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter X. A few days ago, Tesla settled a claim brought against it by the estate of a man killed when his Tesla, operating on autopilot, suddenly crashed into the central reservation of a freeway, linked to this story in the description. Despite Elon Musk being gung-ho in the past about legal matters, hiring what he called in a tweet a hardcore litigation team, Tesla settled at the last minute just before trial. Which is obviously a shame for those of us like me who would wish to see autonomous driving technology tested in court as to its safety. But despite this, I thought it was only a matter of time before a technical organisation raised the kind of concerns that have been bubbling away in my mind for ages. Let's hope it gets the traction it deserves. Automotive News reports. Influential computing organisation expresses scepticism of autonomous vehicles. Feasibility of safe, ubiquitous AV future is uncertain, Association for Computing Machinery says. Automated vehicles may never reach their promise of delivering a safer future for the travelling public in a widespread way. That's one conclusion from a technical brief issued earlier this month by the Association for Computing Machinery, the world's largest organisation of computing professionals. The feasibility of reaching that goal is uncertain, the brief said, noting automated vehicles have caused serious injuries, deaths and other problems during testing and commercial deployments. Further, the brief questioned whether automated vehicles would reduce injuries and deaths, a blow to self-driving proponents who tout safety benefits as a central reason why the technology should be allowed to proliferate. As the article correctly points out, this criticism hasn't come from a bunch of Luddite technophobes in tinfoil hats, but from the same organisation that gives out the Turing Award, regarded as the Nobel Prize of Computing. Larry Metzger, chair of the organisation's US Technology Policy Committee and the report's lead author, said the group wanted to present scientific information for policymakers addressing automated vehicle developments. We are basically setting up an experimental laboratory in the public space, said Medzger, a research professor at the University of Vermont and affiliate faculty with George Washington University's Center for Assurance Research and Engineering. Right now, there's already some problems. How many more problems are we going to have? I've put a link to the original technical brief from the Association for Computing Machinery in the description, and it's well worth a read. But there are a couple of extracts which are key to understanding this gap between expectation and reality. Machine learning, ML, including deep learning, is a database method of training automated systems. Unlike systems programmed with algorithms to follow pre-specified computational steps, ML-trained systems can be more flexible and determine what to do based on training data rather than having human programmers specify computational steps. ML thus has advantages for AV tasks, such as determining what objects are pedestrians from examples rather than via programmers creating code that accounts for every possible type, shape and colour of pedestrian. 
ML-based functions make predictions from real-time sensor data to plan an automated vehicle's next move or to control other environment-responsive functions and systems. For multiple reasons, machine learning in AVs is limited in its ability to perform some life-critical tasks on public roads. ML training, for example, can be incomplete and biased. Inadequately robust and diverse training data can make the vehicle unreliable at identifying certain categories of people, such as those using mobility aids. They might also misperceive a billboard image of a person as human. ML systems also can fall short in surprising ways by failing to ignore input data that a human driver's brain would innately dismiss as irrelevant. Camera-based systems can fail, including because of deliberate malicious actions, to recognise things like unusual clothing colours or other pedestrian identifying features, such as construction workers wearing high-visibility safety vests. Weather conditions and sensor degradation due to age or damage can also limit the performance of ML-based systems, although in some cases humans might also be challenged. But I think my favourite quotes of the whole thing are these. Despite data about the danger posed by human driving failures, an unimpaired driver does an impressive job of avoiding catastrophic mishaps. And, linked to that, while automated vehicles might not make as many mistakes as human drivers, the types of mistakes they do make are different and can be serious. And I think this gets to the fundamental problem with autonomous vehicles, as while they may be better at avoiding certain kinds of mishaps which humans more frequently succumb to, Humans generally do not make the kind of dangerous, fatal mistakes, such as turning at high speed into a central reservation on a freeway, that autonomous vehicles appear to be susceptible to. Let's hope this is the start of a much-needed reality check for those rushing headlong towards self-driving cars.